What is going on everyone? It's Godectral here, back with another video. And it's been a while since I actually did a video, and I want to do a tutorial for you all for the PlayStation 4. Um, in this particular video, it's called the PlayStation 4 Data Bank. I had to borrow some money because I'm a broke piece of shit, uh, but I wanted to play my PS4 games. Um, so this is from the Nyko and it, it's the uh, data bank plus basically you're able to put your PlayStation hard drive which is a 2.5 hard drive and a big fat hard drive which this one right here is a 3.5 hard drive so I want to use my big fat hard drive because it's a 2 terabyte in this video it's going to be showing you how to physically hook up everything all the components on your PlayStation 4 on the next video it's going to be showing you how to install the PlayStation 4 operating system which you do need a um, thumb drive that is 2 gigs or higher obviously a PlayStation 4 controller to control it uh, but you do need to use the micro USB um, to connect. So that's highly important for you guys to know. So let's go ahead and move this towards the side. I've already unboxed it. And here's what it uh, came with. The data bank right there, which I'll just move over on the side. There's the lid for it. And here's the expansion slot where we're going to go ahead and replace out um, I'll, I'll explain this here in a second it came with a little screwdriver so if you don't have one this will come in handy it also came with you know um, sheets of um, um, how-to guides which this will cover in the video and it came with a little baggie with screws so Let's go ahead and move this towards the side and disassemble our PlayStation. And the reason why I got this is because I have had a working um, docking station, which is a 3.0, um, and you can connect a 2.5 and a 2 or 2.5 and a 3.5 hard drive into it, and it's from this 3.0 USB into your PlayStation and that worked just fine so but it, it crashed out on me basically those work for temporary drives if your hard drive is about to crash out those are just temporary I just had to learn that the hard way and it worked for a year so that was awesome but yeah so it was time to get the expansion um, the data um, bank so here on the side is let me actually point it towards the camera and I do apologize it's all wobbly I wish I had a sturdier table but I don't so we want to push the lid off which if it wants to maybe I don't want to be too hard with it here let me just grab that almost got it now that we have it off um, and I do apologize if the desk is a little bit dirty now that we have it off we want to slide out the hard drive which you will need that screwdriver and I already have my own which has the um, metal or metal and has the magnet at the bottom and if you can get one of those screwdrivers, I would prefer you use that. But if you don't, use what you got, especially what it came with. And we're going to set that towards the side. We're going to go ahead and pull this out. We're going to keep it intact of how it is. And we're going to go ahead and grab the slot here. Slide that in. And depending on your... Uh, PlayStation and um, how new it is, how old it is. Sometimes the screw was on the side, but my screw was right there. And I don't think that this fat little thing will actually bolt this down, so we'll give it a shot. I don't think it's actually going through. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it's not. 
uh, skinny enough. It's actually it should be skinny enough. Okay, so the PlayStation screw is not skinny enough, it's too fat. Luckily, I had a, another screwdriver, or screwdriver, another screw as, um, aside and handy, and I'm glad that it fits in. So now, what we want to do is grab the data bank, and we want to pop this on of how we just slid it off uh, the lid. And make sure that you lift this up, and now this will poke through its hole. I'm going to go ahead and slide it in. The one thing that I have noticed is I've already installed this previously. So I can make sure that I can go through everything correctly is um, you want to get yourself a fan in the back of the PS4 because this will heat up your PS4. Like it, it within a couple of minutes, it heated it up. So you definitely want to get yourself a fan. As soon as we can plug in this SATA cable. Okay, now that we have the SATA cable plugged in, there is a screw right here which we want to take off before we install the original PlayStation hard drive. So we take that screwdriver, put it right there, and there is a little washer, and we put that right there. And now it's time to install the PlayStation hard drive. And just like that. Now you're gonna set the washer back in place. So make sure you adjust it just right. Okay. And now we got the screw and place that in. Okay, now it's tightly in place. So we want to grab our hard drive, our 3.5 hard drive, which is the big fat one. Um, this one's the 2.5 um, hard drive. So it's like a laptop hard drive and this one's a desktop hard drive. And um, slide that bad boy in. Cool. And I don't know if I mentioned or not, but there was a little package that came with screws, so we're going to go ahead and take that out of the bag. Oop, that didn't land too far, so we're good. And on the side, let me go ahead and um, bring it over. On the side, there is a screw that you can put right there, and the same on the opposite direction. So let me go ahead and uh, place these screws in, the one that's facing me. And... Now we're going to place in the other screw, which I placed in right here, so right here. And we're going to place in the other screw. Awesome. So now that we have it placed on, we're going to go ahead and get the lid. And we're going to go ahead and place that in. And in the back of the PlayStation, it comes with uh, this extension cable to power on your um, data bank, which is right there. So where your PS4 power plugs in, that's where you want to put it. And then you get your PS4 cable power and you're going to plug it in right there. And that's it, guys. That's how you physically hook up your uh, Nyko data bank. Um, this is for something that, in my scenario, my expansion bay uh, has crapped out on me, and um, I needed something to play all the video games on. Uh, I really hate myself because I had to borrow money from my mom. Shout out to my mom. So, yeah. But uh, in the next video, we're going to be showing, I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, the, whatchamacallit, brain fart. I'm going to show you how to install the brain fart. Yeah, okay, these operating system um, on towards the PlayStation 4. So, yeah, make sure you subscribe.
and click on the next video.